Hey, so we're going to present the CD-1B. It's our main famous line, a famous unit, main famous unit, excuse me, of the market. So as you can see here, this unit is 130 watts of power, okay? And it's called CD because it's a compact unit. You can see that everything is compact in the same footprint. As you can see here, this unit works either with the T245, okay, there's the general proposed handle, or also we can work with the, excuse me here, T210. This one is the precision handle. You can see how fine the tips are. This unit is great for either work with 0105, 0201s, or either bigger components. The thing you have to keep in mind is that this station can apply until 75% uh, of our tips. JBC has one of the wider uh, range tips. We have more than 700 tips selection. And if there's any other type of necessity, I have JBC also prototypes tips. So coming back to the CD-1B, you can see here, as I explained before, it's 130 watts. As soon as I lift the handle up, you can see how quick it goes to temperature. It only takes two seconds to go to temperature. Other lines in, in the industry takes 10, maybe 15, maybe 20. So this one you can see how optimal it is to work, for example, with heavy ground planes or SAC 305. In this sense, I want to show you to replace the tip. Other brands have to pull here, right? It's really unsafe to the operator. In this case, really easy. This little barrel here, you push here, pop, and it stays there. And again, if you want to press, depending on the, what's the opening, then you press and it takes two seconds again. Wonderful. So then if you take it again, I want to show you something real quick. If you remember what we we're talking before, thanks to the tip technology, you can see how all this area gets hot, but I'm not getting burned because everything remains in the barrel as we were talking because the heating element is embedded there. Listen back, what I'm trying to explain here is the following. Press it again. Remember that I was talking about having a heavy ground plane on multi-layer board, how important was the technology of the tip? You can see here a little power bar where you can see how much power is being delivered in every second. If I blow next to the tip, okay, look what happens to the temperature and look what happens to the bar. The temperature is not compromised. You do this with other, other brands and the temperature will start dropping and what it will cause in a real time, it will, it will, it will do uh, create a cold solar joint in this case. Going back to the, to the station, you can see here it goes to slip mode. As soon as I place the handle in the cradle, it goes to slip mode. However, if I, there's a, a mode, it's called have hibernation mode, okay, that later I will explain you how to override it. This means it goes to room temperature. Thanks to the hibernation mode, you're going to extend tip life around 30% more. We're one of the oldest, uh, only soldering brands that achieve that, thanks to, again, going so fast to temperature. As we were talking before also, this unit has everything compact. In this, in this case, also, what we have here, the little brill pad with a splash guard to avoid the pot. Okay, everything remains in the tray. We also supply the sponge, okay, because the industry has been using it a lot. However, we don't recommend to use the sponge. JVC do not recommend to use the sponge. Why? Because of the thermal shocking effect. I always like to do a little explanation if people don't, don't understand that concept. It's really easy. It's like in winter with your car, with a frost panel, you get boiling water and you throw it to, the, to your panel. What happens? It cracks. Same thing with the tip. You're getting something that it's around 650, 700 F and you're dipping it in a cold, wet sponge. You're going to crack that plating of the tip. So we avoid using this little guy. However, this is optimum. And also we have this little tray that you will be also able to remove the solder from there. It's the same material as the cord. It's a high temp ESD cord. It will not burn. So now we're going to talk about the main menu of the station. In this sense, we attach here in the middle button, you will see the main menu and different options. We're going to the first to the second option because the first one is to reset all the settings. So we will not touch that one. Go to the second one. So in the second one, you can see the following. 
you can choose between, ah, well, oh, that's a pin code. Later I will explain you about the pin code. By default it's 0105, if you get it from the factory, okay? But in this case, you can change, coming back to the temperature, you can change between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Okay, in this case we'll do it in Fahrenheit. The max temperature is 840, the minimum 190. There's a metronome, like in a music class, this will give you a timer, a beep, every, um, every time, every amount of seconds that you select. Then we have a t help text, you can put help text that will help you during your operations. Then the beep, so I will leave it on because this case will be done. Then the QST, the QST will explain you at the end of the video. It's so get tuned because it's the new traceability 4.0. And then we have the pin code as we were talking. This is great because you can lock out the station. So if you want to lock, for example, one temperature or all the parameters, you're able to do that. Okay. And then back. So coming back, then we go to the three, to the tool settings. You can select either one temperature, okay? Remember, I've done the pin code. So in this case, again, we put it by default. And in this case, imagine that you have one single operation and you wanna set it up on the floor and you don't want anybody to work higher than 690, okay? So in this case, we will go back, we'll save the changes and then exit. So as soon as I get the handle, you can see here, fixed temperature it will not let you, it will not allow you to move the temperature out. Going back to the menu, okay, we already were good on that, in the tool settings, here, again, it will ask you always for the pin code, so if, if you are in the case that you don't take it out. So in this case, we're going to take it out, okay, and then we have the temperature level set. Imagine that you're working always in the same operation, or you have uh, by default three temperatures and you don't want the operators jump more than that. You always work in the same range. Imagine that you're working in 650, 700 and the third one 750, come on. So you go back, changes, yes. So in this case, when you lift it up, you can see the three temperatures here. This, the only thing they have to do is, that's the pattern. And by itself, it will quick to the selected temperature. If you place it back again, remember again, pin code again. So we'll put it again and then we take it out. Then we have the sleep delay. So as soon as you place the handle in the cradle, we go to sleep, you can select the temperature. Okay, so in this case it was in 300, as we were seeing before. However, remember at the really beginning I was talking about something called hibernation delay. Okay, it's this. You can overwrite this program, put it to zero. In this case, if we put it to zero, if you go back, look what happens. It goes to hibernation. Right now, if I, do not, if I don't touch this unit and I leave, this unit will go to room temperature. This little thing extends tip life at 30% more because the tip is not burning, it's not oxidizing as other brands that there is burning there for. 800 all the time and then when you come back you have a black oxidized tip so that's a really important feature and then you have the temperature adjustment our stations do not need calibration the advanced series do not need calibration required however if you have a, a digital thermometer a TID you can do the testing depending on the geometry and the mass of the tip of course there's going to be a little delta of and a little variance from temperature however you can adjust specifically and really critical the temperature so if you want to be imagine 771 f you can be 771 f on point and then going back at least but not last we have the counters and then you can see this is our brand new unit how many hours has been plugged the working hours the sleep hours hibernation hour two hours and sleep cycles and then the program version is the brand new unit all this information will be recorded, excuse me, here. There's a USB connection where you'll be able to track and download all the information from this little unit. Not only this little unit, all our line cards. I will explain at the end of the video, as I said, our QST, that is the 